new performance copilot features in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. I'll give a quick overview of base components needed, show the PCP DSTAT utility, and finally, using BPF metrics with PCP and the vector web application. Firstly, we can check that PCP is installed and running using the PCP command. In this demo, we'll make use of PMCD, PMWebD, and archives from the PMLogger service. Most PCP utilities operate in both real-time and historical modes. DSTAT reports metric groups in concise, colourful formats. Metrics are chosen from a list of plugin configuration files, which describe the metrics and tabular output parameters, such as colour. Here's some sample output from using DSTAT to report on disk IOPS and network socket metrics for a remote host named Slick. We can also use DSTAT to report on historical data. For example, here we show 12 samples every 10 seconds at 4pm from the time, CPU, disk and memory plugins. Vector is a web application for live performance analysis, so we point our browser to a web server hosting it. In the Vector application, we specify which host will provide metrics and how frequently to sample them. A default set of charts is displayed, which can then be customised to suit your needs. Let's focus on the local storage subsystem. Vector has always provided high-level charts for disk IOPS and throughput, but now we can dig even deeper using a new kernel feature called eBPF and the BCC user space tooling associated with it. PCB has been extended to make metrics available from eBPF instrumentation. To use it, we must first configure and enable the BCC Performance Metrics Domain Agent, or PMDA. For this demo, we're interested in the storage subsystem, so we enable the block IO latency and top process eBPF scripts. Once installed, the agent makes available new BCC metrics to Vector. We'll use these metrics in Vector to populate the disk latency heat map widget and a live table showing the processes issuing the most block IO across each sample. I have started two concurrent processes reading directly from a local block device. One is using a 1 megabyte block size and the other 10 megabytes. So we can expect to see the effects of different I.O. sizes, different latencies and different I.O. completion counts over time. In the bio latency heat map, right to left we show the change in time. On the vertical axis, we show increasing latency using histogram buckets, with the bucket time ranges increasing vertically. Finally, the change in colour from light to dark shows the sample density associated with each bucket. A larger count of IOs in a bucket is indicated by a darker shade of red. The BioTop table shows all of the concurrently running DD processes now, along with the device, IO count, throughput, an average I.O. duration for each. And that's it folks. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a few of the new Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 features brought to you by the Performance Copilot, BCC and Vector projects.